Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Outer Wilds blind playthrough here on YouTube. It's the Echo of the Eyes, the Echoes of the Eye DLC. <laughs> I'm going to get that right someday. Man, it feels weird to be starting off the same old launch day, but doing something entirely different. Uh, and heading over to the Stranger, and maybe from there heading into the, what do you call it? Endless Canyon. I wanted to call it in Endless Valley the other day. Endless Canyon, uh, which is an, a different world entirely from the one that I am in, it appears. Or at least a different system, for sure. Um, okay, so let's read up on what we learned. A damaged laboratory. I can't wait to see this ship's interpretation of this, because I came up with my own, and woof. A laboratory with three test chambers. The second chamber is badly damaged and can be entered through a hull breach in the side of the stranger. I saw a vision-like recording of someone picking up an artifact, going to sleep in front of a green fire. The rest of the vision was disordered and difficult to make out, but a flame appeared, seemed to appear inside the artifact. I found a slide reel that shows three experiments conducted with three different artifacts. The third experiments, experiment appears to have been a success. Okay, so here's my question. Where... If, you, if the Unknownians sit around the, the green fire, blue fire, whatever it is, greenish blue fire, and they use their artifacts to go to the Endless Canyon, can they just never leave? Are they there in their memories? Are they there in a simulation? Why did they die? Did they die because they couldn't come back or because they wouldn't? I said I had one question. It turns out it's 18 questions at once. Uh, okay. The abandoned temple, which we got to. An abandoned temple marked with the symbol of a burning slide rail. It can be accessed from a passage in the hidden gorge. And also, I don't have... the password for it. Although, I might have an idea on that too. Okay. I don't know. Let's get there. Let's get there. Here's my thought. Maybe that other password would work here. Maybe they use the, the Unknownians use the same password on everything. I don't know. Let's try it in today's episode. We're going to make some progress. Um, learn some things. Oh, buddy. I'm really interested to, I think what I'm going to do is, is sort of try and answer some of the like stranger questions, the, the stranger questions before I answer some of the endless Canyon questions, because the endless Canyon seems like it's it, its own ass experience. That's for sure. A whole, a whole experience in and of itself is mostly what I mean. Spot a tree, walk towards it. Enjoy. Oh, look at these little plants. Taking my little plants into space with me. Uh, okay. So I think what I would like to do here is go this way. I've got so many entrances to the stranger now. I could go through the breach in the hall. I could go this way. I could go, uh, all the way up the elevator and into the fourth section. I should really learn the names of these sections a little bit better. I just keep calling them the first, second, third, and fourth section. But one of the things I'm really looking forward to as part of answering all of these questions of this area is uh, we're gonna we're gonna aim for the the code, by the way. Oh shit. We're going to try and get the code and then get back to the place and see if the same code works. One of the things I'm looking forward to doing is coming back to a place like the tower and then trying the artifact thing and seeing if it recreates the same results, you know? Like, will I do the same? Will I go to the same place, the Endless Canyon? Or will I go to an Unknownian version? I would I would argue that, like, the, the symmetry of, of the world here 
would suggest that I go to a different place. Probably the Cinder Isles version, the Unknownian version of it. I don't know. I can't wait to fucking find out. I think this DLC might take me a while. Ah! Nailed it. Totally nailed it. No questions at all. About whether or not I nailed it. Now, now that I say this, am I in the wrong area for this? Is it right here? That's the canyon. So maybe, I don't know if I'm in the right spot here. Or do I go one further? Basically, I'm misremembering if this, uh, it's not here. Shit. So, we're going to go up one and then to the sun. I honestly don't know that I, I, I would guess that this, that this code does not work. It's just like the only code that I have to try, you know, so far. All right. And it sort of feels like well, now that I know what I'm looking at, like with artifacts and whatever, what, it, what it, I feels like I need to go through every section and be like, so what the fuck does this section actually do now that I know what I'm doing? I wish I could read you still. All right, now you, we solved in here. Yeah, by checking that right there. It's like, I, I, oh, easy. It's like sun. I'm going to take a photo of this with my camera just to be a hundred percent sure. I like a boomer. I accidentally took a screenshot instead of a photo. All right. Uh, okay. Let's try it. There's no way in hell this works. And unfortunately now I have to fucking wait too. shit. Is that what I need to do? Do I need to wait? Well, while we're waiting, in order, I can't go. I can't go back up river. Uh, while we are waiting, here is one thing we could do. It would be sort of out of order. Uh, sorry, take that back. Nope. Cool. Tell me what surface integrity that shit's at. Let's explore this thing. I was thinking we could go up into the vessel and light an artifact and see what happens. Uh, I think that would take me to a scary place. There's the power. Which has to be what starts the thing to fall apart. For sure. Alright, we have a working lantern. In here, in that doorway, and then this doorway. This doorway takes you nowhere. This doorway takes you here. That one takes you. This pill makes you stronger, or whatever the line is. This one would take you to the place where all the shit is stored, except they are underneath the water. So you go down here. There's this. Okay. So this we all 100% know. Let's read it again just to be 100% sure.
I, mean, I missed that jump. All right. So while we're waiting. Come on. Ah! It's really kind of hard for me to keep... I, I, I know that I'm doing something I've already done before. I'm partially doing it because I want to see this with the same old eyes that I saw it. Is this the one that's just burned the whole way through? You can see the, the heads of the Unknownians there. And then there's this. Okay. So with, with new eyes, I want to rewatch this old slide. They build the thing. They submerge it. Then they walk away. And then it's burnt. And that's it. All right. Well, there's really not much information there. All right, cool. Well, there's that. While we are here, why don't we uh, head back over that direction and see what we can come up with. Going for a swim. I don't necessarily want to do the fire thing. I also don't know if there's an artifact around here that I could actually try and use. There might be. I'm not sure. Um, but what let's do instead is I don't think there's anything at that tree. I'm pretty sure we've checked that. I don't remember if we've been in here or not. We've not. But now we know one of the ways to solve this problem. Which is to chuck a fucking scout in there. And to unlock it. Yeah! This work? No. No? It's just too big? Fuck! Is there anything off the side? I can just swim underneath it the whole time! <laughs> Oh, I, I, and I think I'm thorough. I'm so not fucking thorough. Jesus Christ. All right. So this is going to be one of these things. We have normal, the submerged vault. Now we have the inside of it from below. It gives you the clue. Incredible. Hell, let's take this with us just in case. Uh, what is the uh, jetpack fuel, which we appreciate? Oh, that actually kind of scared me, the noise that it made. And then this, a broken. Ah, oh, this is to submerge it for sure. This is a control for submerging it. I'm sure of it. Okay. What if I just gave this chain a good old kick? Think I could break it? No? Okay, well, that's fair. So, now that we've done that, this part's all off limits, or all, all done exploring. This part's nothing special. Equip translator, sure. What's it at? 22%. Okay. I have a broken lantern down here. I want to try something really dumb. To the Unknownian that did this, what happened to them was they... They saw a blue and red, like... Like, light thing. Normal. Okay. It's not a shattered lantern, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, cool. That's fine with me. That's very fine with me. Trust me. I thought maybe I was going to commit a sort of Sudoku. Um, all right. Or maybe never wake up. Even though the Unknownian that did it did wake up. All right. So let's get on this sucker and let's ride a... 
Let's ride this, uh, ride this wave. Six percent. Oh man, I love this game. I just kept thinking early on in this DLC, I don't know how it can be that big because we have a circle with four areas and I felt like I discovered everything there was to discover in the first area. And I might have, but now I know, now I suspect that I get to go over every single area again with an artifact. That's fucking loud. With an artifact in my hand. And see it from and maybe visit a new fucking world. Oh, I can't wait. But we're going to do it a step at a time here. Step at a time here. So we are now headed for the uh, the third section uh, on the right with the code that we have, which doesn't make a ton of sense. But maybe they used the same password for everything, you know? Good uh oh shit i went the wrong way good internet or fine internet savviness shows you tells you that you should really you should really use more than one password for all of your different shit go right go right go right go right go right go right oh buddy go right you should you should use more than password one two three on all of your accounts you should use a different password for everyone but maybe the Unknownians aren't good with that. Maybe they are a very trusting species and they have no individual theft or identity theft between individuals and so they don't have to worry about it. I don't know. Ouch. All right, right turn. I like when you stand at the back and you can hit like two, two things at once. You can really move. All right, chuck you there. All right, we got lots of fuel. I ask you to take me up there. trying to think if there's anything we need before we get in there. Maybe an artifact? I don't know. If I wanted an artifact, I could technically get them from almost any area, but I could get a lantern from here. I don't remember if we can make that jump. I'm pretty sure we can. I don't know. Let's just go inside of it, though. I can always run back. I feel like this game does make me, and obviously recording it does this. This game makes me more distracted or like, uh, more, yeah, distracted than any other game. I blame the fact that I'm thinking about like 16 things at once. I'll be like walking down a path of ghost matter, thinking about the fate of an entire alien species that I can only really communicate with via image translated via my working hypothesis right now is memory translated into image translated into word into you know whatever i translated in my brain um <sighs> so anyways then i'll then i'll miss a jump or something uh okay so our image was our, our code was sun for sure and then it was the weird eye one, like this one. And then fire, eye, fire. Did they use the same password? Shit. What else could it be in this area? I don't know if they call this I like I call it I. I don't know what it stands for to them. I'm not going to guess it. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's this lantern sitting here, which might be important. This takes you back to the same place. I don't think we saw in any of the slides an answer, shit, an answer to the question. Of what the password would be. Does having an artifact do anything? I wouldn't really know why it would, but maybe I can use it on the interface. Hmm. Hmm. I made it all the fucking way over here. What's the symbol that it's got on its head? Burning slide rail. Need it all the fucking way over here. The only other option, not the only other option, another option is that it's actually hidden somewhere inside of this air, this section of, of land without being hidden in. Oh, maybe it's hidden in the endless canyon part of it. Um. I was thinking maybe it's like we've got all these forking river paths here maybe it's like one fork over i don't know but it might be i think i could make this jump right when i have jet fuel i can yeah maybe it's time to go back uh maybe it's time to go back and to hop in and maybe the version of it in here will be unlocked by the unknownians if that makes sense I love how when I go there, it re removes my jetpack and everything, you know? God, that <laughs> that's still creepy. <sighs> still creepy. Still very creepy. Oh. Oh. Ah! I just want to stare at that forever. Truly forever. All right. How can we possibly have been recording for 23 minutes? Are we at the end of the fucking loop? I'll pass some time and shit. Okay, well, I hope I didn't fuck us over here. Go, 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 go. We're, we can do a whole loop like this, uh, taking as much time as we need. And we probably should. We will eventually. God, there's just never enough time in this game. There's just never enough time in this game. Okay, we look like we might be inside of the same type of thing. <gasps> I fell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's much louder out here. When you die in the game, you die in real life. Except you don't die in real life. All right, well. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna die here and we're gonna come back. Thanks to, we're gonna die to the time loop and we're gonna come back as soon as we can. I think that was promising. I just slipped off the edge, so. So, so, so. Um, yeah. I think that makes sense. So we'll come back for another 10 or 15 minutes. Here we are, 24 minutes into an episode. Me still coming up with ways to make these episodes longer. Take me away. Time loop, take me away. Oops, or fall damage. Yep. 
<laughs> All right. Let's get down to business. To follow the Unknownians into the Endless Canyon. Figure out this freaking puzzle. We learned some we learned some good stuff this episode already though with the uh the actual building in the fourth section where you can just swim underneath. I hadn't been to that yet. Okay. Every time I wake up now that I'm in the DLC, I'm like, wait, you don't you mean I don't start on the stranger? You mean I have to start from the beginning? Fly my way there, all the way there. All right. You know the thing that I really want to do? I was thinking about this between episodes. Did we get any new information? No, okay. Wait, that just said yes. Abandoned temple. There's an interface upstairs that can be used to line up sequence. Symbols in a vertical sequence. Now that we know this ghost matter thing, the place that I want to go, I want to check out the ghost matter here on Timber Hearth. I want to check out the ghost matter on uh, Gabro's. I think it's Gabro's Island. It's one of the giant's deep islands because it would go up in the air and then back into the water. Um, and hypothetically, that could be different. It might not be different. It might be the exact same, but we'll check that out in a future, a very long episode from now when we're done with the DLC um, and back to the main game, I think. That's sort of what I'm thinking, at least. We'll see. All right. Ace landing. Love it. Love to see it. Now, to go straight there, we want to go through here. And then... Book it there with our boat. Which I need to push, and I always forget. My raft, quote unquote. And let's do it, full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. If I knew any boating lingo, like something about like, you know, I've read Moby Dick. I don't know, like, uh, hoist the aft sail. I. Three nautical miles to starboard. That ain't right. Something like that. Okay. Sorry, I'm sitting here thinking. I'm trying to come up with how many other potential unknownian uh, places there might be where you can visit with an artifact. How many fires have we met? We've met the fire at... Found. We found the fire at... Uh, ouch. Fuck. We found the fire at... The island tower, the right up here, the and then the submerged thing. So maybe only total three, not like one per section or anything. It's not a ton of, of places. The amount of steps it takes to get there. All right. We want to grab an artifact from the other side. Uh, from the movie, the movie theater, basically. And then we want to... Should be like right here. Yep. All right. And now we have nothing but a full ass time loop to devote ourselves to you. Ooh, buddy. Drop you, drop you.
It does actually have to be darkness, it looks like, that, that cues the thing. All right. If we die, it appears that we just come back here. If the... There's going to be a, a screech up here. No? Normally there's like an animal screech. Right out here. I feel like every time. Oh, I just about walked off that edge. Oh, my lanta. Why are the lights all off? Wait. Oh. I can focus the light that much? Interesting. Huh. God, it is fucking dark out here. Any more lights? So you kind of want to just look around with your pointed your pointed beam for a while and it lights up some stuff. That's cool. I've gotten so used to having the jetpack on, I kind of wish I was zooming around with it on. God, that's fucking gorgeous. All right. Where to first? Go up or down? I think we go up here. That looks like a doorway. Those look like doorways too. Oh, the amount of lights I just turned on. Holy shit. Looks like a concert hall. God, this place is unsettling. It's beautiful, uh, but it's truly, truly unsettling. It's, uh... Oh, there's a bow. It's like a stand... <laughs> it's like playing a, a cello or a... Interesting. Uh, okay. Let's go this way. Something right about these doors that aren't doors. It looks like I should be able to go up those. What can I do to this thing? It's not going to hurt me, right? One one floor? It did hurt me. Okay. Woo. Not in A. That face is the wrong way. I'm not in a spacesuit, so I guess that hurts me. Maybe it would in a spacesuit, too. Okay. God, this is creepy. Oh, this place is huge. Holy shit. Ooh, that's like a hand. Ooh, that's very creepy looking. Okay. Thought maybe it was something I could look through. Hmm. Oh, oh! Okay. These Unknownians are pretty, uh, pretty handy with the technology. 
<laughs> ah, I'm so I cracked myself up. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Y'all got any slides in here? Oh, you. There's a slide. Oh, there's a slide and there's a shadow. Am I going to be able to meet one? Oh, I don't know that I want to. I don't know how much I know about them yet. I don't know if they're friendly. If I look at it from this side. Nope. Okay. You have to look into the one side of it. I don't know that it's going to let me through here. So far, my vibe for this place is that they're going to really like close off how much you can actually access, which I think makes a lot of sense from a gameplay perspective. There are lights here, though. There's lights outside of this door, which to me signifies like, hey, look this direction. Figure something out here. Look at those shadows. You can hear him moving around. Oh, it's kind of creepy. You're telling me I cannot get through this door. None of the doors? This is going to be like the slide reel. Eventually, I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to feel so dumb. I love how I keep wavering on it, right? Like, can I get through these slide doors? No, nah, there's no way. I don't think that I can. Because my guess is they're not going to actually show me any of the un unknownians here. There's got to be one directly beneath me. It's still in that shadow. And we're instead we're gonna march every single direction around it. Oh, it's so tantalizing. I shouldn't have done that. The water's cool. I'm cool in the water. Oh, it went out. Fuck. I didn't think about that. Can't let it go out. Water's bad. Water's bad. water bad. Shit. Okay. We we. Saw a lot of places there, though. And everything stayed lit up, so that's nice. Okay, and I think we did a lot of the upward, the up stuff. The up stuff. I think we did everything up. Now, what's that? Okay, so there's hands that we can teleport to, so we need to keep that in mind. Somehow I have to get there and look back this direction. Hmm, okay. So I went here. God, that's creepy. It, it never, never less creepy. Okay, I've only done it once and it's still never less creepy. Nothing that I can actually do there. Okay. All right, I'm scared. I feel like that's the thing that I hear towards the end of the loop every time. I can't be at the end of a loop already, can I? Can I? All right, so hold up. I came this way. I've checked every, all the boxes that way. I've checked all the boxes that way, that way. We go up the stairs. a deep rumbly noise we've not been this way yet so i should actually go back and double check my double check that i completed everything this direction this direction was the places where they sat and then this and i fell into the water okay and these are a high enough yeah i can't jump through those man the unknownians make weird noises 
Okay, so now we're on the third level. Some stuff that direction. Again, more doorways. Okay. Looks like an eating place. So here's a here's a weird question. If we're in this place and there was a shadow of another one, of an unknownian. Sorry, not another one. I'm not one. If there was a shadow of an unknownian. That suggests I am not just visiting a place, but also a time, right? Like I'm visiting when another un when an unknownian is here. Cool, I made that work. Beautiful. I love that. So does that mean they're still alive? What is what were they doing when they fled the stuff in here that I haven't done is this way. When they fled the uh or or went to sleep on the stranger. You know? Oh, ready? Oh, Oh, and that's the end of that loop. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful game design. Oh, level design. Very cool. Lights. A thingy. Okay. So before I go that way, let's just double check what's down here. Oh, it goes down deep. this which feels special am i gonna get to walk through this <laughs> it feel i mean i can't be the only person who walked head first into this thing sort of hoping i would get platform nine and three quarters into it right there's no way i'm the only one All right, we gotta go because we need to use as much of this time loop as we can. I thought, I, I, I believed too. I thought maybe this door won't open unless I really believe that I'm gonna go through it. And so I believed, I screwed up my courage and I was like, I'm walking through this solid, met this solid wooden door. And then the door let me down. Uh, okay. So, obviously there's that. We have a, we know how these work, don't we? Oh, it's different, actually. Never mind. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Just this. What am I going to make for myself? Oh, a boat. Oh, here's the problem. Is it coming right to me? Oh, hell yeah. I thought I was going to have to get in the water. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> what happened? I just, I just turned the candles off. Was that dumb? Aw, oh, that was probably dumb, wasn't it? Shit. I didn't know the candles made it float. We kept everything alive, so we don't have to go back. Uh, in terms of, like... We don't have to go uh, re retrace our steps. Sorry, we go down and, re and redo the puzzles and open the doors and stuff. Go this way. Should be relatively quick to get there. <laughs> Are the candles keeping it afloat? What's happening there? Are the candles providing enough light that the thing stays afloat? I don't get it. I don't get why that would cause my death. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing. 
Imagine if I died to this elevator too. We're obviously nearing the end of the episode. We've gone far too long for this episode. But I'm going to ride this time loop out. My dog is, is calm now that he believes that the storm is over. I know that there are still thunderstorms coming, but he doesn't know this. Um, and so he's sleeping, and so we're going to keep recording. All right. We can zoom pretty fast. I don't know that we want to. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh, buddy. Oh, just go. Yep, go fast. Oh, buddy. Okay. Oh, I heard that noise and I didn't like it. My God. I wonder if it actually follows a predetermined track or not. It does. Okay. Cool. Looks like there is a next place though, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, I bet you can call one right here. Okay. All right, this is gonna be the end of the time loop. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy it from a whole new place. I mean, we're standing on side of the, we're we're standing on the stranger in a room full of unknowny and dead skeleton bodies, mummified bodies. But mentally, I'm somewhere else. We're gonna see if we can't figure out. exactly what's happening here take your thing step out this is on the yep this is on the I wondered it reflects backwards go to sleep there and it wakes you up What did it give you? What did it give them? Huh? It looked like a boat. Sort of looked a little bit like a boat. We're dead. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of our Outer Wilds Blind Playthrough. Holy shit. I'm saving every moment. I don't want it to be dumb, but I also have to know. Thanks for hanging out with me for another 45 minutes today. This time we have together is so short and so precious. And I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a whole nother episode. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.